Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Amy and LBJ, where they have been working for the last week to put together the St. Joseph altar under the direction of Rick and Jeannie Redmond, who are, what are you doing here, Rick? <laughs> I am putting out all the seafood, the seafood platter Thank that you. shows all the wonderful seafood that we have in our area that all, again, is a tribute to St. Joseph. And this, the altar is always meatless because St. Joseph falls during Lent. So you never find any meat on the altar. Well, it is certainly not sugarless because I see cookies and cakes, uh, Jordan almonds, all, uh, all kinds of sweet treats. What's the reason for that? Well, all of it is just to celebrate St. Joseph and all the things he brings to us. So we have cookies and cakes and treats of all kinds. People bring things that are special to them to say thank you to St. Joseph for a favor granted. So we have all kinds of things on the altar. Now, when I see pictures of people here, obviously a, a man in uniform and different people, who are these folks? These are people who have passed away, and these are memorial cakes and memorial pictures to have St. Joseph take care of them. I think you see, you just saw the, the lamb cake, because Jesus is the lamb of God, and so you see lamb cakes on the altar, and different people have their own take on the lamb cakes, but that's a big one. And yeah, all the pictures. We also do have living people on the altar. Um, here at St. Francis, we're playing for a student who is um, suffering from cancer, and we want him to be St. Joseph to heal him, so that's, that's been something that the kids have been praying for. Over here, you have uh, more fruit and fresh flowers. Yep, all to say thank you to St. Joseph. And you'll see something like, here's a cake that's like a, a, like a, a memory book. It's, it's an open book. And, and it is a tribute to the saint who really kept the folks in Sicily kept from them alive. starving to death. Exactly. Well, yeah. that's a good reason to say thank you. Literally right? saved their lives. They were down to eating the cattle food, which was fava beans. And now the fava beans are lucky beans. They say if you have a fava bean in your wallet, you'll, you, your purse will never be empty. <laughs> and uh, you also put something in your freezer? Yes, that little pea in the, we have a favor bag. Jeannie has one. Jeannie, yeah. pass one of those over if you don't mind. All right, show this to everybody. Yeah. Rick, what is this? this you is get a, one of these when you come by. By the way, the door's opening today at noon until 6, and then tomorrow. Tomorrow it is 9 to 5. 9 to 5. And, and free lunch, 11 to free, 2. What's for lunch? <laughs> Pasta Milanese with a boiled egg, a little dessert, a little salad, a little bread. It's incredible. And you get one of these to take home. And, and you get this in your favorite bag. Keep this in your freezer. When there's a storm coming, you throw it on your lawn. St. Joseph protects your house, and the birds get to eat the bread so they have something for their uh, trip to get away from the storm. I, you know, it can't hurt, right? Right. right. Well, we want to give you a look at this. By the light of the day, it is spectacular. But by night, Jeannie, if you would please, with the lights. What about that, LBJ and Amy? Uh, if that is not a moment to remember all kinds of emotions. Yeah, uh, spectacular, as Amy put it. Uh, Bill, bring us back a fava bean. We could use good luck. 